Welcome to another tutorial on API testing with the uh, Python series. Uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how we can do uh, pretty print uh, data visualization of, uh, of your JSON response. This is necessary because uh, sometimes when you have a long JSON response, uh, you may not be able to parse it unless you visualize it uh, on the console uh, how the JSON tree is. So let's, uh, there are several ways to do this. I'm going to show this one by one. So, uh, first uh, uh, is with the help of uh, JSON module. You, of course, you, you need to import JSON module. Then what you can do is, most of the time, your JSON response by default have the type uh, dictionary, right? So, in that case, what you can do is, resp is equal to, I'm just going to reassign the, into the same variable, json.dumps. This is in case your data type is uh, dictionary, which is uh, in most cases. So what you want to do is uh, give the data here, that is resp.json, then pass the indent, just for visualization. I'm going to pass this as pass this as four. Now I'm just going to print this response. Let me just run this file and see if this works. Okay, as you can see, the it's uh, formatted the JSON data uh, so that we will be. You should be able to, uh, even if the response is long, you should be able to uh, visualize the uh, JSON tree and uh, parse the data. So uh, this is, yeah, of course, in the case of uh, dictionary, the, suppose your response is uh, in, it's possible to have a response sometimes in string format. So suppose it's in uh, string format. I'm just going to reassign this to str of uh, uh, resp dot json okay so now the, your response is in the string format now what you have to do is uh, use json dot loads so if you do json dot loads and just pass the response uh, this uh, also possible uh, sometimes this statement throws some json encoding error that is uh, um, mostly because uh, if you do this statement, if you replace all the single quotes with the uh, uh, double quotes, so you won't have that error. So I'm just going to replace all the single quotes with the double quotes. Okay. So this, uh, then once you do JSON loads, uh, then you need to do JSON dumps. There is in the case of uh, string format. Let me just run this file. Okay. I'm getting some error. Okay. Uh, of course, your JSON dot loads uh, returns basically its return type is uh, dictionary, so you don't need to do a dot JSON here. It's already in the correct format. So I'm just going to say I'm going to run the file again. Okay. As you can see, it's visualized. Uh, it's it's doing a pretty print for when the, your response is in a string format so that is the second case it's on another case is that it's also possible to sometimes you may get just a json array as a response in that case uh, basically uh, the type it's it's a python list with uh, it's a list of uh, dictionaries basically so what you want to do is uh, iterate through the each dictionary and you can apply json loads or dumps so suppose if you have like um, uh, probably you may have uh, some utilities uh, file or class where you can just define a, a like a method pretty print uh, it takes uh, data as an argument then based on the type that is if uh, type of data uh, dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore this should be either equal to str or dict or our list based on these uh, conditions you can actually apply the same thing that I have mentioned here and you can have a uh, have a general generalized method for uh, to do for doing the pretty print so this is uh, how we can do this and there are also other options 
like uh, okay what you can make use of a module called pretty print that comes default i think import p print yeah you should you should import this from p print so say from p print import p print okay so let me just do a p print here p print of respond.json let's charge the json okay let me just run this file quickly okay as you can see it's not as good as the mm, the method that i have mentioned before the json loads and with the help of the json module but yeah you can still um, uh, visualize the data the one more option is that to, if you're using like a debugger suppose uh, uh, if you're using a ipython debugger that is a ipdb module what you can do is uh, import ipdb uh, pdb this is basically you are setting a, a breakpoint here for debugging so in this way what happens is when you run the file uh, your execution stops at the breakpoint so you get an interactive or debugging console here here you have one option like you can do the pretty one this way pp space then you can give the uh, data here response data if you do json uh, you can still see this is also not as good as the first method I have mentioned, but uh, it still works. So this way you can analyze the tree and arrive at the data that you want to do assertions and verifications. So this is how we can do it. Thanks for watching.